A railway station is not the most obvious place to set up a recording studio, even if it's in the pop capital of Merseyside. But Mark was met on site by Sue, Phil and Leo, three friends who've done just that. Finding good cheap premises is vital to get any business off the ground, but especially so when it's potentially a very expensive project. With several thousand pounds of financial backing from a bank and a thousand pounds each from the Prince's Trust, a fund created to help young people in business, they've set up Station House Recording Studios in the old Station Master's residence at New Brighton at a peppercorn rent from British Rail. To keep costs down even further, they've been doing the conversion themselves with help from interested friends. Their original business plan required £12,000 to turn the place into a basic eight-track studio, equipped to meet the needs of up-and-coming bands in the area. It was how you go about raising that amount of capital that most interested Mark. I'm thinking about going into business, which is going to need a lot of money to start up. Um, can you give me any advice? I think the first thing you've got to do is get a good business plan together, um, investigate your market, Research everything, you know, everything that matters to your business and to other businesses. Get your cash flows together, your running costs, every alternative, you know, if you're running well, if you're running badly, the minimum you need to survive. How exactly did you know what a business plan was? We had a specimen business plan that didn't apply to our business at all. It was for a telecommunications company or something like that. And we just took the appropriate parts from their business plan and wrote our own. We sort of used their framework, didn't we? Yeah. And put, their, put our own things in. Yeah. And then once that was done, I just needed to present it. My sister tied it up. How did you get the money uh, to fill it? Well, the majority of it did it through the bank, through a bank loan on the government guarantee loan scheme. Um, we had a bit of money ourselves, just through gear that we sold off, that sort of thing, but it wasn't a lot. And also we had £3,000 for the Prince's Trust. So that gave us the initial money that we could go to the bank and they agreed to lend us the rest of it. When we went there originally, we didn't really expect to be taken seriously. And we were quite surprised when we came out, but he did take us seriously and just gave us a few bits of advice and you know, gave us a bit more work to do, a bit more research and that sort of thing. Um, made our business plan a bit more comprehensive, that sort of thing. And then eventually, he agreed to the loan. Our bank manager seemed prepared to listen. We did understand about the pop markets. So we explained it to him, and he was quite favourable once, once he understood a little bit more about it. How long did it take to get started? Well, the original business idea came um, 12 months before we, we got the, the premises to start work on that. Um, it took us that time to, well, just to get everything through, you know, your, your lease on the place, your, your bank loan, your Prince's Trust money. Mm -hmm. Um, it took 12 months. Planning how to spend the money on the conversion was just as vital as planning how much to raise. And buying good second-hand equipment wherever possible makes every pound go that much further. We've picked up loads of things. I think that's what you should be doing. There's no point in going out and spending a fortune on, on furniture, things like that, that isn't really important to the business. Just makes the place look nice, so you can pick up a lot of bargains. So it helps to shop around. It does, yeah. And keep your eye open all the time. There are problems that you, you can't get exactly what you want, and you do have to wait. But to do that, I think one of the things that you should realise when you when you start it that it probably always will take twice as long and yeah. twice the money that you originally yeah. estimate. Yeah. Actually, somebody said that to us that it would take you know twice the amount of money, and in some ways, you know, they were right in some ways. It took a lot more than we initially realised, you know. In fact, they had to raise a further £2,000 from their local authority, and the opening was delayed well beyond the original target date. But they're confident they've created the ideal studio for bands wanting to try out new material. Bush Telegraph sounded well pleased. Pressure is on you, it's a hard time. 